So you're driving down the road when suddenly the orange check engine light pops up on your dashboard. Most people will go straight to a mechanic, but what if the fix is super simple and something you can do yourself? Before you spend thousands at a repair shop, let me show you how you can easily figure out what is causing your code. To start, you'll need an OBD2 scanner if your vehicle is made after 1996. This device is something every car owner would benefit from. It lets you scan your car for trouble codes in minutes. Now depending on your budget and goals, you can get a basic scanner for around 25 bucks, like the one I'm holding here. Or you can invest in a more advanced professional scanner like this one. Both are great scanners. Once you get the one you like, head to your car and plug it into the OBD2 port. It's usually located somewhere near the steering wheel. Now turn the key to the on position and scan for codes. If you want a detailed video on how to do that, it's going to be in the description below. So your car could throw all kinds of codes. Maybe you have a sensor issue, or maybe you have a vacuum leak somewhere. In my case, I got a map sensor code, which means my manifold absolute pressure sensor is either dirty or going bad. So now I know I can try cleaning the sensor first, and if that doesn't work, I'll replace it or look into the wiring. And that's the power of having a scanner. You don't have to guess. You can know exactly what triggered the check engine light and decide if it's something you can fix yourself. From my personal experience, the most common triggers for a check engine light would be a faulty spark plug, ignition coil, MAF or MAP sensor, a loose gas cap, or a bad oxygen sensor. Some of these codes are an easy auto fix. But if the code points to something major, like a transmission, then that's when you should go to a trusted mechanic. Now if you've recently had a check engine light and figured it out, drop a comment down below on what the code was and how you fixed it. You never know who you might help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.